Well, thank you very much for being here. And this is very exciting for me. I know so many people that are in your church and the Latter-day Saints. The job you've done is, uh, is beyond anything you can think of. In 180 countries, taking care of people the way you take care of people. And the respect that you have all over the world. I, I would love you to, while the media is here, just say a couple of words of what we just discussed, all of the care and all of the giving that you've done. And to help people, in particular poor people, would be a great thing. And perhaps they will transmit that to different parts of this country and the world. It, it's so brilliant to hear it. Thank you, Mr. President. We're, we're here in a place where we have food and uh, material that we uh, give to the poor. Uh, but this is a, simply an example of the, what we do across the world. The idea being that we think we have an obligation to God to look out for the people who, who would, without our aid, have tragedy in their lives, either poverty or, or hunger. And uh, this is an example of what we do in how many, Bishop? 120. 100 the facilities in the U.S. 120 Canada. facilities. So great. And uh, would you say a word about what you've seen in, across the world? I was in China last week, and there I got to see what a wonderful job President Trump had done just previously. They were filled with hope because of your visit, Mr. President. And I also happened to uh, drop in on an occasion when the Chinese members of the church were bringing supplies for school children who didn't have means of getting what they needed to go to school with. Right. Well, that was very nice. I heard you were there. Formerly a great heart surgeon, one of the best in the world. And he decided to help even more people by doing what you're doing. So we appreciate that. Thank really you very great. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.